Good morning, I'm podcasting journalist Kemi Olulayer, and this is Kemi Talks for Baltimore, Maryland. Well, you guys heard yesterday that the Baltimore City Council has voted unanimously for Chief Michael Harrison. Now, you know, Michael Harrison is the new Baltimore Police Commissioner now. Harrison will be sworn in this morning at 9 a.m. Very interesting because this guy was kind of like retired and people didn't know he was going to the next level to Baltimore. Hmm. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about Harrison. He's been in Baltimore for about a month, which, you know, a lot of people, you know, met with him. He met with residents in all nine police districts, talked to people, and that's how policing is really done when you know the chief. So last Wednesday, the Baltimore City Council Executive Appointments Committee unanimously approved that he'd be nominated. His nomination was approved, sending his confirmation vote before the full city council. Harrison spent 28 years, okay, in New Orleans Police Department. And you guys know New Orleans Police Department, the hands are full over there, lots of crimes and things, but he did a lot of good stuff to make that place very stable. So he rose to superintendent over there before retiring and then taking the job in Baltimore. See, sometimes when police officers retire, you think they're gone and you never know, they love the passion. That's the same thing with me as a journalist. I told everybody in Nigeria that I'm no longer gonna be a journalist. <laughs> I guess they didn't know that was just in Nigeria. Um, Of course, I was arrested three times in 2017, just about two years to the date. And, you know, when you have places where you cannot do your job well or at peace, then you just got to leave. That's how it is. And then you come to the other side and you start doing journalism again in Baltimore and, you know, Europe and everywhere. So, going back to Harrison, he spent 28 years in New Orleans and then retired and then he came to Baltimore. The Board of Estimates approved a contract for Harrison last month. And that contract says he'll get $275,000. That's $275,000 for his first year salary on the job. And every year for the next five years of his contract, he'll get a 3% increase. Isn't that great? You know, when you go to Nigeria, I don't know. Don't let me talk about my country, but police salaries... You can't even eat with that. Let's see what Catherine Pugh said, the mayor. Baltimore Mayor Catherine Pugh spoke. <clears throat> she released a statement. And that statement, let me try and read it here for you. I'm delighted that our city council members have come to share my view that Michael Harrison is indeed the right person at the right time and the right place to remake the Baltimore Police Department and restore community trust as our new police commissioner. Let me talk about that a little bit. You know, when I was Maryland's most beautiful people winner for Baltimore County. I actually lived in Baltimore County and I always worked in Baltimore City as a pharmacist for CVS at that time. The amount of crimes we had, robberies, break-ins, all kinds of drug offenses and all that, shootings, was just so much that when some of the police chiefs in the past, several of them, it was either a divide with the community or divide with the police itself. So what Pew is saying is that Harrison came at the right at the right time to the right place. Okay, the right person, the right time and the right place, which is very critical here. So to restore community trust, I mean, there's no police department in the world that has any kind of community trust, but when you have one that does, keep it. She goes on, we commit our full support to him as he now officially takes up his responsibility, knowing of his own strong commitment to levels of accountability and transparency. We have much work yet to accomplish, but having Commissioner Harrison, a seasoned partner, who regards this work as both an opportunity and a privilege. I ask all of Baltimore to work with us in creating the safest city we desire and deserve. I think that's a very good statement that Catherine released here. So Harrison himself said in his own statement that he was very excited and grateful to have been confirmed and wants to thank each of the city council members for their vote. I mean, it was unanimous. Almost everybody voted for him. I don't see if it was even um, 20-0 or 19-1 or something, but... I expect a long and productive relationship with the city council is what he said. And I'm looking forward to working together to achieve our goals of reforming the Baltimore Police Department, reducing crime and rebuilding trust with the community. I like that statement. I like the mayor's statement. Everything's good. I have three kids, 32, 27 and 18. And 
my youngest two, my 27 and my 18 year old were born in Baltimore. I lived in Baltimore 20 years out of 32 when I was initially in the United States. And knowing that Baltimore can change and being a winner of Baltimore's most beautiful people in 1997, I fought against drug abuse and drug violence. The drug abuse part was mostly mine because I was a pharmacist at Johns Hopkins. And it was so important because addiction was very big at that time. We wanted to read drugs out of the community. And, you know, coming back as a 55 year old, just about, and the same things are happening again. It stops and it starts again. Everyone needs to be part of the community. If you need to know my work in community, um, gun violence and drugs and all that, you can also look in the Toronto Sun. Um, Google me and find out what I did in gun violence there because drug violence becomes gun violence. They're all intertwined and related. But community activism, I started in Toronto a big time. Well, I'll say Baltimore when I was doing the drug thing, but the guns, the community activism is very strong. And Toronto Police said a lot of great things about me. It's very important that you know that police and community have to work together. They, over there, they had Crime Stoppers, and there's Crime Stoppers in America too, but over there in Toronto, Toronto Crime Stoppers is a major thing, and I volunteered for Toronto Crime Stoppers and Toronto Police. And Crime Stoppers, the community, the media, and the police are partners, and you have to work together to solve all these crimes. That's how communities work. Um, Kemi Omolulu Olunlaya, also known as Kemi Olunlaya, journalist, pharmacist, PR specialist, and activist, and a Nigerian. I love America, I love Canada, but you guys, everybody around the world need to be emulating this. But as we Baltimoreans, yeah, I am a Baltimorean, as we say, you know, you have to work together. And my saying is we work together, we progress together. Thanks for listening to Kemi Talks. It's Tuesday, March 12th, 2019.